Hi guys, this is uh, Johnson Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video is going to detail, uh, or it's going to try to answer the question of what is a symmetric relation. Okay, so let's just keep in mind that a relation is simply a subset of a cross product. So in this particular situation here, I have the set A is equal to the, or the uh, A is the set that contains the values 2, 4, and 7. And what I've constructed is all the possible ordered pairs, yeah, uh, for the set A cross A. And we take all of these ordered pairs, A cross A, we take all the ordered pairs and we list them inside a set and that gives us what's known as the cross product so this is the cross product or the Cartesian product or the Cartesian the Cartesian product and what we're free to do is we're free to choose a uh, particular subsets of this particular cross product and by definition them subsets are what we call relations so for example I might choose uh, or one to contain the values, let's say it contains 2, 4, let's say it contains 4, 2, and let's say it contains 2, 7. I might take or 2 to be the values, let's say uh, 2, 2, 7, 7, 2, and let's say 4, 2, and let's say uh, 2, 4, okay, just as two examples. These are subsets of the cross product, okay? All the elements of these particular sets are contained within the cross product itself. And the question that we would like to ask is what is a symmetric relation? Okay? In a previous video we dealt with what is a what is a reflexive relation. So let's concentrate on another property or another type of relation that we're interested in from a mathematical perspective. And we have a definition. Now the definition is a little bit, I suppose, let's say, uh, not convoluted yet, but can be a little bit complicated in relation to the words, although there's only a certain number of words that's used in the definition. But let's try to walk through it. So we say a relation, a relation or on a set A, a, what I mean is, or is a subset of the cross product of A with itself, okay? So a relation or on a set A uh, is symmetric, okay? It's symmetric, okay? Well, it's symmetric if, if for all, if it's for all x, y's that are elements of A, okay? Uh, if x, y, the ordered pair, is an element of the relation, well then we need to have y, x being also an element of the relation. Okay, A little bit complicated, but as a definition. But what it's really saying is this, is that if you keep choosing two values from the set, okay, uh, and let's call them my first value is an x and my second value is a y. If we keep choosing two values, yeah, uh, well, when we keep choosing two values, our cross product gives us all these possible ways of choosing two values yeah, uh, from the set uh, A, and we have a list of ordered pairs. So if we keep choosing ordered pairs, okay, and if the ordered pairs that we choose are in our relation, okay, so if a particular ordered pair is in our relation, well then, it's symmetric couple, that's when we flip the x's with the y's and the y's with the x's to create a new ordered pair, that must also be in the relation. Okay? So for example, that's our, that's our definition of symmetric or uh, symmetric relations. So in our instance here, the question is, is the relation R1 symmetric? Well, for R1 to be symmetric, well then, for each ordered pair, that we have an R, okay, for each ordered pair, when we flip it, we would expect to find the flipped ordered pair being an R. So for example, is R1 symmetric? Okay. Well, we have 2, 4 is in R1. When we flip it, we get 4, 2, and 4, 2 is in R1. Okay. Now this must be true for them all. This must be true for all of them. 
Okay? So 4, 2 is an R1. When I flip it, I get 2, 4. And that is an R1. And finally, 2, 7 is an R1. When I flip it, if it was symmetric, I'd expect to find 7, 2 in R1. Okay? Uh, now in this particular instance here, okay, you can clearly see that 7, 2 is not in R1, so 7, 2 by definition is not symmetric. Okay. Well, what about R2? R2 contains four ordered pairs. If it's symmetric, well then when I flip each of the ordered pairs, I would expect to find the flip of each ordered pair in R2. Okay, so let's try it. Take the fourth ordered pair, 2, 7. When I flip it, I get 7, 2, and 7, 2 is in R2. Take the second ordered pair, which is 7, 2. When I flip it, I get 2, 7, and 2, 7 is also in R2. Take the third ordered pair, 4, 2. When we flip it, we get 2, 4, and 2, 4 is in R2. And finally, take the last ordered pair, which is 2, 4. When we flip it, we get 4, 2, and 4, 2 is in R2. So, by definition, what we say is R2 is symmetric, as all of the symmetric couples, or the symmetric ordered pairs, are contained in R2. Okay. So maybe we try a little bit of a different sort of more, let's say, a more refined definition here. Okay. okay. So we'll say, given a relation or on a set A, okay, we say that R is r symmetric, okay, so it's uh, symmetric, okay, uh, only if, 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 and only if, okay, uh, for each let's say, ordered pair x, y, that's in R, okay, we have its symmetric couple y, x being in R. In other words, the test for symmetry, we only have to consider the ordered pairs that are in the relation. Okay? And that's what we did a moment ago. We considered each individual ordered pair, we flipped them, we asked the question, is that ordered pair in the relation? Okay? In this situation here, we had 2, 4, when we flip it, it gave us 4, 2, that's there. We looked at 4, 2, when we flipped it, it gave us 2, 4, that was there. But when we looked at 2, 7, which was in the relation, okay, okay, 2, 7 is in R. When we flipped it, it gave us 7, 2, and 7, 2 is not listed in R. So this is not symmetric, okay? Whereas when we considered R2, okay, for each ordered pair in R2, when we flip them, we have their symmetric couples. So R2, by definition, is symmetric. So it is symmetric. Okay, okay. Uh, guys, uh, that short video was dealing with the question of what is a symmetric relation? And I hope that video uh, helped in our understanding. Uh, so thank you for your time. Uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Okay. Thank you.